everybody it's Aaron Tates and welcome back to the channel now today uh, if you watched last Wednesday's video we put the LEDs in for the turn signals and we did the double lower turn signals and I got the switchbacks in and I got a new bulb socket for this driver's side to fix it not working properly uh, got the Ford behind me just closed out Sunday's video hope you guys already watched that hope you guys like that it's not gonna be a crazy interesting video for you guys my Wednesday videos are normally a little more a little bit more laid back uh, nothing really big but I've got a lot of big things coming this is just a little buffer uh, new headlights are on the way I've got the new LEDs are gonna be going in the new headlights I already have those I'm waiting on the new headlights and I'm waiting on next weekend to build them They'll be doing it and then we all have bumper and grill and all that content coming you guys but for now just some switchbacks uh new bulb socket and that's about all so i apologize but let's get right into it all right everybody we have all of these stuff to do the switchbacks and the new bulb socket i know this is kind of just like last wednesday's video because i put the bulb sockets in and made the double turn signal but like i said i wanted to do the switchbacks and I wanted to fix the driver's side bulb socket that was messed up. So instead of making you guys wait until I do the new headlight build, I figured I'd go ahead and record all this for you guys. Now, everything I use in this video will be linked down below. And if you're wanting to do the double turn signals, this is exactly what you need. Now, last video I used parts, truck, things, but this we have brand new bulb sockets. I believe it was like $10 for both of these. And the switchbacks were like $17 a piece. Uh, they're white and amber. And I wanted to clarify something with you guys. Now, someone commented on Wednesday's video saying that the white turn signal is illegal because it's not amber in color. Now, it might be illegal in that person's state, but in the state of Florida where I currently live, it is not illegal. I would not do something illegal and tell you guys, here, do this white where i live is not illegal you can have white or amber light being emitted from the front of the vehicle and it's white or red in the rear and guys i've went through a lot of problems with law enforcement involving these halos right here running them green down the road and i've read the florida state statute and it clearly states that as long as it is white or amber it is illegal and that involves turn signals headlights anything like that so I would not tell you guys to do anything to your vehicle that is illegal. So I apologize if there was any confusion there, but I wanted to clarify that, that it is not illegal. Uh, I wouldn't tell you to do something illegal. So go ahead and get putting these switchbacks in. Uh, I showed you guys how to do this. Um, what I'm gonna do this time is just replace the driver's side and I'll have a backup if the passenger side decides to go out or anything like that. Um, the resistor is already on it so all i have to do is cut wires put them together heat shrink them uh, i don't solder my wires i just switch them together i could solder them but i don't never had a problem with the way i do it uh, if you feel like soldering it you can solder it uh but like i said everything i'm using in this video will be linked down below the switchbacks the bulb sockets and the next video you guys see of the chevy will be me building the headlights and putting them in and at the end of this video i give you guys a little sneak peek of that uh of the leds i bought i don't have the new headlights yet but i have the leds that are going in the new headlights and they're not going to be halos like these but they're not going to be plain white like some others so stay tuned for that guys Literally took me five minutes and it is all done now. So we're gonna go ahead and open up one of these packs of switchbacks and put them in. And I'll do a comparison of switchbacks versus non-switchbacks. See which ones you guys like better. This is what they look like. You can see the white is the bottom, the top is the amber. Woo! And then inside it is the amber and the white. So these are actually really freaking nice. Okay, so you guys know I run Oxbeam on everything and Oxbeam didn't have any of these. 
and these aren't octane either these old ones uh these are some just cheap like four or five dollar a piece ones but these are completely plastic these are literally metal like that is that is metal every part of it is metal wow and these were like one of the cheaper ones too this is plastic down here where this gets shiny this is all plastic but from here all the way up is completely metal i am super impressed and i guys i am not sponsored i bought this with my own money but i am still very impressed by this out of this one and my old one holy crap see just the normal leds and like this this literally puts out a beam of light there's a beam right there holy crap okay i just have to take you guys down for a second you see how lit up this one is can you tell the difference between that and that holy crap that is the difference between like six dollar leds and 17 dollar leds i am blown away oh my god i am in love i am absolutely in love guys holy crap Okay, so I'm gonna squat down right here so you guys can see me. This is a thousand times better than that. Holy crap. Oh, I have to get these other ones in. Oh my God. Okay guys, well, um, it's official. I need new LED bulbs up top because my parking lights are brighter than my headlights. I'm joking, but these are ridiculously bright. Holy crap. Let me turn my headlights off. Guys, I am blown away at how bright these things are. Like they will blind you if you look in them. And I mean, I know that sounds dumb, like, oh, of course, if you look on an LED bulb, Aaron, it's gonna blind you. Okay, when you used to look in these, uh, they didn't blind you. Yeah, you'd see like little spots because you just looked at a light, but in these switchbacks. Oh, I have to have my key on to have my turn signal. I'm like, I just turned my turn signal on. Why didn't I do anything? Duh. But these switchbacks, holy crap. Can you guys see this? Compared to that, oh, I'm in love, guys. So in love. Why didn't I do this before? It cost me like $40 in total. And that's how much it would cost you because I bought a two pack of the bulb sockets for your turn signals. You'd need that. And the switchbacks. And it was like 40 bucks in total. I think it was like 40. But I mean, Holy crap, like, I am in love, guys. Like, this was such a short, stupid video, but things like this, I am, I'm more happy about that than my new rear bumper. Like, that looks so good. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off where, like, it runs my battery dead because, guys, my battery's been worked a lot today. Um, turn these off, and I'll talk to you guys. But, uh, I am so happy about that. It's all off now, but that 
that made such a difference. I am so blown away at how much that changed. Oh, I hope this company makes some switchbacks for this truck because I'm gonna be getting clear turn signal lenses for it in the future. And I really hope they make switchbacks because I am in love with that. What brand is this? What brand are you? Brish, Brishu, Brisho, Brish, Brish, Brishu. I don't know, but guys, I'm blown away. That that was awesome. Okay, such a short, simple video, but I'm gonna get you guys some nighttime shots of this at night. Of course, uh, be dark here in like an hour, and I'll get some nighttime shots for that for you guys. But I am so happy. Oh my gosh, I said I highly suggest this. Highly, highly suggest that you do this. There's not very many things from like, you need to do this to your truck or you need to do this to your Tahoe or your Suburban or your Yukon or whatever. I am saying, I am 100% saying, you need to do this. That looks so good. But I ordered new headlights. Like I said earlier, I have new tops and bottoms coming. I have new LED things that are going all around in here couple of you guys, uh, a couple of my subscribers that I talk to on Instagram, you guys kind of know what I'm doing. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Has not been done before. Not that I've found at least. So like to be different guys. If you've been following this channel, you know, I like to do things that no one else does. So we're going to be doing some, some headlight build that costs under, under $150 to do it yourself. And no one else has done it before. So I'm very interested in that. And the headlight mounting bracket, I know I showed you guys in the double turn signal video back when I first did it last Wednesday. Uh, my bracket is messed up. I ordered two new brackets, they're coming as well. So we're gonna be doing everything at once. And then after we have headlights done, I'm ordering the HD grill, uh, new bow tie. The HD grill isn't one solid piece like this chrome is right here. So I've got new end caps coming. Uh, I'm gonna keep my bumper plastic because if you own a stock cat eye, you know your lower bumper plastics are gray. Guys, I don't want gray. Gray is ugly. So I want black. So I'm just gonna repaint those. I'm actually gonna do them right. Uh, I've rushed everything I've ever done in this truck in the past and I finally got the common sense to slow down. Um, I'm gonna fully DA sand them, prime them, sand them, paint them, clear coat them, 2K clear, like do it the right way uh top and bottom so i'm just gonna be ordering the new chrome because my chrome is dented right there uh so i'm needing a new chrome section of it and then it's body work time everybody we're gonna be rocking a white hd hood on the truck the hd grill some nice headlights uh some messed up paint so if you guys remember last year a little bit before Daytona, I repainted my fender and it held up great. It wasn't, I didn't have enough clear on it, but it was better than what it was. When I did the Christmas wrap video, the tape took the clear coat off. So I obviously didn't prep something right, but it's gonna be getting sanded down anyways. Uh, got a lot of dents in that fender to cover, some dents in the back door. Oh, we're gonna fix the rocker panels. If you guys are wondering a budget way to do rocker panels, we're gonna be do, going to be doing that. Consist of fiberglass and Bondo. Just gonna say that, but that is all coming up very fast. The month of February, guys, cracking down. Nopi, or Myrtle Bleach Nationals, South Carolina is next month. And this cat eye will be there. The Ford will not, but the cat eye will be there and it will be a different color, and it will have an HD hood and an HD grill and new headlights, and it will be there, I promise you. So, we gotta get a lot of stuff done, like a lot done. And I have like a month to do it because then I have to, you know, have money for this trip. And you guys know, I don't make money from YouTube, so this is all funded by Aaron. So guys, this is all out of my pocket. So you guys need to go down and hit that subscribe button to help a brother out. So thank you guys for watching. Um, like I said, I highly suggest you do this to your truck. Like highly suggest it. Cause I mean, it looks awesome. And it was like under 40 bucks. So you should definitely do it. Uh, thank you all for watching this video. I'm sorry it wasn't like super crazy. Didn't do anything drastic, but to me that was awesome. So I'll catch y'all on the next one.
See ya. All right, everybody. I know I promised you a sneak peek at what's going in the headlight build. Just gonna show you this much. Gonna show you much more than that.